Okay, what are you doing? Making art. No, seriously. I am. Art is more than just doodle birds with hearts. How did you know they're called doodle birds? Must have been my thesis I did on doodle birds during my four years at the Art Institute and my two year residency at the Doodle Bird Sanctuary. I want in on the secret microwave. No! This is the worst secret ever. Ms. Mullen, operating prohibited electronic devices in a room filled with twine wicker hair is grounds for a write-up. Fine. Use a stupid microwave. Cool about your passion project, though. I'm contemplating an oil on canvas series of praying mantises dressed as the British monarchy. I've been shopping it around to galleries for five years. Good God, what is that smell? Mmm. Beast of the senses! I think your sandwich is broken. Oh no, my artisanal cheese sandwich is a work of genius. Not you two. There's no such thing as an artisanal cheese sandwich. The American Cheese Society begs to differ, as does my black market overseas cheese guy, Bromf. Oh, well, who am I to argue with Bromf? Cheese in the U.S. is all plastic and chemicals. The FDA makes local cheese artisans take perfectly good stink cheese and boil it to death. I like my delicious bacteria alive and kicking. Thank you very much. Want a bite? No, I have a rule about sharing food with people who hoard cheese in back alleys to avoid government regulation. Well, then I guess I can't interest you in any of my kazu marzu. How about you, Miss Wong? Do you want to go in on a wedge of seriously ripe, illicit maggot cheese? Oh no. My nutritionist says that my insects have to be pupa or older. Are you seriously using school-funded supplies to bankroll your Etsy store? That could be grounds for termination. Oh, smells and accusations with you. Out! 70% of all taste is smell, you know. Bronk will hear of your insolence! Okay, it's officially toxic in here now. I'm going for a walk. Good luck selling your whatever it is. Oh, these are already sold. What? Who bought your doodle birds? People coming to my gallery show next Friday. This is for a gallery? How many have you sold? I've pre-sold to 100 customers for the opening. First of all, art has patrons, not customers. Second, how much are you charging for these? 50 bucks a pop. Look, since it seems like you have a lot of time, can't you help me stamp some of these? If I stamp it, it's not gonna be your art, it'll be my whatever it is. It'll still be my art. You'll just be my helper. Intern. Do you know how art works? Artists work alone for hours to make something meaningful. Look at Warhol. Critics accused him of being a business artist. But is that so bad? I mean, wouldn't it be nice if people were buying your mantises? Mantises? Manti. All of the great artists didn't do it for the money. They did it for the work. And who benefited in the end? The patrons. Because the work was valued more when the artists were dead. It's sick when you think about it. I prefer to work with people who value my craft while I'm alive to make art for everyday people, not just the 1%. Give me that. But I want collaborative credit, a thank you, and an artist statement in the show booklet, and an intro with the gallery owner. Deal. Also, it's okay if the hearts are a little off-center. So like, handmade crappy, not three-year-old crappy. 